Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we are going to talk about some big money plush. And before I start, I just want to show you my newest friend. It's huge. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I can fit it on the screen. Look how cute this is. It's an owl and it is a squish mallow. If you guys don't know about squish mallows, here is what the tag looks like. This one here is super big. Um, I mean, oh my goodness, it's huge. <laughs> anyway, um, Zombie Bargain Hunter, um, if you don't follow his channel, you should be, especially if you love selling plush, because this man sells more plush than any person I know of on eBay. Um, and he knows about all the bolos. But anyway, he sent me this as a gift. So thank you so much, Robert. I really appreciate it. I love it so much. It's so soft. Ah, but you guys, I'm keeping it. This is a keeper. This is a keeper. And I don't know. I don't know if he can sit or she, he, I don't know what it is, can fit up here. We might be able to get it up there. We'll have to see. But it's huge. But uh, squish mallows can be big money bolos or they can be bread and butter. I do have a couple videos on that. One, I believe, is on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and one is on my main Bolo Buddies channel. So if you want to know more about squish mallows, you can check out that video. Um, this video is not about squish mallows. These are about older, vintage, harder to find plush that go for big bucks. And I'm sure you would see a a lot of these on Robert's channel, Zombie Bargain Hunter. So go and subscribe to him. Check him out. And again, a big shout out and thank you for the owl. I got buddy mail. All right, you guys, let's get started. I'm going to tell you some of the best plush to try to source. Now, these are a little harder to find, but if you find them, you are like going to make big money. So stay tuned. I'm going to start with the lower ones and work my way up to the big money. But um, even the lower ones are big money. So um, I think there's really like three main categories that we're going to touch on. So you'll see. Just stay tuned. You're going to like this. It's unbelievable what plush can sell for. All right. So the first item we're going to talk about is this guy right here. He is a vintage 1960s slurp. And you guys, vintage plush, definitely pick it up. Um, even if it's not in perfect condition, it can still sell for great money. I'm gonna see if I can get you guys a tag. Here is the tag. Um, spectacular products is what it's called. This guy went for $123.49. So monster looking plush can be a bolo. All right. The next one, Lisa Frank plush, definitely a bolo. If you see Lisa Frank plush that is vintage, you're going to make some money. All right. This one is a horse. Um, I think it's a Pegasus because it has wings. That probably would have been a good keyword for the title. Maybe horse in the title also. Either way. People still found it, even though those keywords were missing. And um, it's got a little bit of damage, it looks like. And it went for $158 with free shipping. The next item is this guy. He is vintage Los Temblo, Los Temblors, Temblors, Spain, My Pet Monster. So this is a My Pet Monster. You guys, My Pet Monster is definitely a bolo. I've never seen this particular one. The one that I'm most familiar with is blue. I do think I have him in this video, so we will get there. I can't even... Oh, okay, so that's where it says that Lost Temblors. Uh, but this guy went for $175 plus shipping. So another monster. Okay, so this is a vintage 1962 Larry the Talking Plush Lion pull string. Um, I will say that anything animated, I almost always pick up because animated toys do sell. They range from bread and butter to big money, but they always sell. So this one, it looks like it's some sort of pull string. And it sold for $201 
plus shipping. And that is a vintage Mattel 1962 toy. So definitely be on the lookout. He's pretty cool, right? But $200? Wow. The next item that sold is this rare Moon Nix Whimsical Space Mouse. It's Knickerbrocker, and it's from the 50s, and it's old, guys. Here's the tag. So I usually will look up Knickerbocker if I find it, but this little guy is pretty cool, and he sold for $209 plus shipping. Definitely a cool, cool one. Now, these guys are the Vintage Fisher-Price Gummy Bears. I've never heard of these, so I wanted to share this with you guys. It looks like they're Walt Disney 1985. And I don't know, would you guys have sold them together or parted them out? I'm not sure what I would have done. Knowing me, I probably would have parted it out. But I guess it just depends on my mood of the day. This sold for $152.60 plus shipping. I don't know why shipping is so high. The next item that sold is this Tonka Vintage WWF Wrestling Buddy. This is Jake the Snake. These wrestling buddies can definitely be a bolo. If you see them, look them up. If um, they're super cheap, just grab and go. They're going to be at least a bread and butter. This one even has stains on it, and it sold for $217.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Vintage Jumbo Love Commonwealth plush. It's a puff -a lump And I had something similar to this. And one tip that Robert, actually the zombie bargain hunter gave me, said to call it parachute material in the title. Um, cause it's kind of got that material look to it and maybe people search it. I don't know. He would know because he is the plush king. This thing is a mess. It's got stains. It's got tears. Um, granted it is on the seam, so probably can be fixed pretty easily. Here is the tag jumbo love. And this sold for $249 and 99 cents plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Manhattan toy company, plush purple hippopotamus from 1986. This guy sold for $280 on auction. And definitely a bolo. And hippo, this reminds me of Flippin' Hippos, who also specializes in selling plush. The next item that sold here is the My Pet Monster, the blue guy. Definitely, if you see him, grab him. A lot of times he has handcuffs. Sometimes he does not. Um, he's supposed to. But he will sell either way. This guy sold for $300, and he's got some issues. 1986, you guys. The next item is this Kitty Kitty Baby Kittens plush. I have actually been lucky enough to find some of these. I think I found one cat and then I found the puppy puppy puppies. Now, this one says baby. So I don't know this. Okay, so this is actually a smaller one. So the one I found was a Kitty Kitty Kittens and it was definitely a bolo. This must be a smaller version and a little teeny baby. This one sold for $357, but I will tell you this looks to be in excellent condition. So definitely be on the lookout if you see those. Even if they're not in excellent condition, mine were not mint and mine still went for um, really good money. The next item is this Spy Fox Entertainment. Extremely rare. It's a fox, a Spy Fox. Um, oh, you no, human gus. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> is that humongous? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that how you spell humongous? I thought it was the brand. Hold on. Humongous. I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure I understand. Humongous. Here's some information. Okay. H-U-M-O-N-G-O-U-S. But this says that it's some sort of horror film. I don't know. I thought humongous meant like big. 
Definition of humongous. Humongous is an informal term. It means. It means. Huge, enormous. Huge, enormous. Humongous. I don't know. See right here? I was like, oh, that's the brand. It is the brand. Humongous Entertainment? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I've spent way too long on this. Trying to sound out a word like a third grader. Humongous. <laughs> I'm just leaving this in, you guys, because you know me. All right, here's the tag. $400, 22 bids. That's the important part. It's a bolo. All right. I guess I've never really spelled out the word humongous. I just put huge or big or large. Okay, so this is a vintage antique. Um, it's a dinky dog. Dinky dog. I don't know where they're getting that it's a dinky dog. Hmm. I don't see a tush tag or anything, but this sold for $405. So, you know, I'm going to pay closer attention to these really old stuffed plush items because I would never have guessed that this was a $405 item. Now, I wonder if it got paid for. Let's see. This is a good way to check. It is not foolproof. I've talked about this before. But you can see right here, it actually worked this time because the buyer paid and left feedback. So if the buyer doesn't leave feedback, you're not going to be able to look it up. But if you go into feedback, eBay has added this nice little search bar to the feedback section. And you can put in one of the words. So very nice eBay with fast transaction that bear sold or that dog sold for $405 and it was paid for and feedback was left. The next item is this rare vintage Dakin Labyrinth. I'm probably saying that wrong too. Fiery plush with detachable limbs from 1986. Pull me apart. My head and limbs are detachable. Huh. $399 that one sold for. Plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Rushton. Okay, so the number one top selling plush, vintage plush, Rushton. You guys... These can go for huge money. They have like the rubber face. They come in all shapes and forms and sizes. Rushed in. This is what you want to find because these are a big money bolo. I have yet to find one. Here's the little tag. But I definitely want to find like, I'd like to find a hundred. <laughs> so. I'd like to find one. This sold for $510. It's a cow. The next item that sold is another Rushton. And this is a chipmunk. I don't know that. Or maybe it's a squirrel. Chipmunk squirrel. I don't know. It's adorable. It sold for $590 plus shipping. I just think these are so cute. And a lot of times they're not in the best condition because they're old. But they still sell for big bucks. The next one that sold is this vintage smile toy company, Elvis Presley dog sold for $613 and 89 cents. Here's your tag. It's got the little Elvis thing down the ear. $613 and 89 cents. Would you guys have ever guessed? I never would have guessed. I probably, I, I don't know. I may have picked it up, but I would have picked it up thinking it was a bread and butter. So Definitely be on the lookout. And I'm pretty sure I checked this one. Um, let me check here. I think I looked. Oh, this. Right here. Received in two days. Item as good as advertised. Thank you. Bam. $613. I think I checked a lot of these. The next item is this vintage Sylvester the Fox. Rushed in again, sold for 611. Super cool. There's the tag. Unbelievable, right? Now, here is the kitty kitty kittens. These are not the babies, these are the full size. So you can see puppy, puppy, puppies, and kitty kitty kitties. The kitty kitty kitties go for more. 
Um, and they have this little thing inside of them where if you tilt them, they like sound like they're purring, but they really don't sound. It doesn't sound like a purr to me. Maybe mine was broken, but I don't know. It was definitely doing something, but it didn't sound like a purr. Um, this one sold for $700 plus shipping. It's one of each and they have the original packaging. So I'm sure that helped. The next item is another Rushton, super cute, crying, sad, rubber face bear. And there's the tag, sold for $860 plus shipping. And you can see the condition is just fair. The next item that sold is another Rushton. This is the rubber faced bunny rabbit. This one went for $925. There's the tag, guys. Ouch. Uh, it's written right there. Also super cool. 925 plus shipping. The next item that sold is another Rushton. This is the Panda Bear. And this is from the fifties. You guys, it sold for $999 and 99 cents with free shipping. The next one is another one. This is the kitty cat with the green eyes, rare design it says, and it sold for $1,000. So we can go in and check feedback. Let's just see. Rush. And, and again, they have to leave feedback for this to, to work. And no feedback. So may or may not have gotten paid for. Another thing you can do is to go in and view sellers other items and put Rushton into the search bar. Check the solds. There's only one in the solds. There's nothing active. My first thought is if this item did not sell, the buyer would have relisted it. So I'm going to guess that they got paid, but I can't confirm it. The next item that sold is this vintage Rushton collectible chipmunk squirrel. Again, it's got a different outfit. $1,025. Unbelievable. The next item is this Russian rabbit doll toy rubber face. And this one sold for $1,075. So the number one top selling vintage plush is the Russian brand. If you guys search it, you will see just tons and tons of bolos in the Russian uh, brand. Here's another good one. This is Giggly Eyes, Giggly Eyes Monster from 1988. And there's his feet and it says it on his feet. So again, monsters that are plush, definitely look up their tush tag or any writing they have on them. This one sold for $1,225. Does anybody else want to check it? <laughs> I'm like, did they pay? I just want to know. Got to spell it right. Monster. No feedback. Let's check and see items for sale. No items for sale. So who knows? The next item is one I have never heard of, never seen. I probably would have picked it up just because it's so weird. It's a vintage plush toy, Baby Aliens, B-A-B-Y, belonging to you. Baby Aliens, belonging to you. Feed me, please. And I think I looked this one up and it got paid for, but I have never, ever seen such a thing. 1987. What do you guys think? I'm almost certain I looked it up because I didn't want to show it if I wasn't sure. Yep. Thanks so much. Fast shipping. Very happy with my item. $1,275. Amazing. The next item that sold is another Rushton. This is the Rubber Face Easter Bunny Rabbit, sold for $1,200. There he is. And we have another monster, Giggly Eyes Monster. This is pink. And these must be like just really special. 
because this one sold for one five one thousand five hundred and twenty three dollars. We'll check it. Oh, it's right here. It's the top one. Yep, it sold. Says great, and they paid. And the person that bought it had seven hundred and seventy one feedback. That's awesome. The next one is this so cute 1950s Dear Bambi Rubber Face Plush Rushton. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. And it sold for $1,525. The next one is this little Rubber Face Duck, $1,525. Also a Rushton. And there is some variation in the tags as you're seeing. The next item is another Rushton. This is the pink teddy bear plush. Happy face, $1,850. Unreal. That one's in really good condition. And the next one is this Rushton octopus, which is so cute. I love it. It's sold for $2,050. I want to see. Rushed in. Here's one that went for 760 It was a yellow bear, but nothing on the octopus. And the next item is another Giggly Eye Monster. $2,500. And look how big he is. I mean, that really puts it into perspective. It's huge. So what do you guys think? Did you know about these Bolo items? Did you learn something? I know that I definitely learned something. I know that I want to find a Rushton, but that alien doll, I did not know about that at all. Some of that giggly monster, no clue. I knew about the My Pet monster. Um, so yeah, just some huge potential to make some big money on vintage plush. And even the old vintage plush, this one right here, my husband actually got me this at a flea market. And I'm going to guess that it's probably worth a decent amount. Um, but there's the tag. It's got the original tags, but isn't this darling? I love it. I love it. It's so different and unique and vintage. And I love it as an owl. So, um, yeah. So that and we named it Brolo. <laughs> so um, if you made it this far, if there's an owl emoji, put it down in the description or in the comment section. But the reason we named this Brolo is because my husband did a video and he picked up some stuff off the side of the road that was boxed and he did an unboxing and he did this on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And he starts out at the beginning of the video. It's just him talking to the camera and he's like, Hey, Brolo Buddies, or something like that. But anyway, so I'm going to call this guy Brolo. So, anyway, that's the story behind the owl. Go check out my husband's video. It was hilarious. Um, him and I, neither one of us are big into breakables. And the whole box was like full of, it had some other stuff, but mostly breakables, but it's a good video. I'll try to remember to link it down below. If I forget, somebody remind me and I'll um, do that. But if not, just go to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and search husband in the search bar and it should pull it up. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Oh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share.